Hello, my drillers of Gen Tokyo. This is the Prophet Driller, and today we're doing the official playthrough of the Toho 1, the highly responsive Prayers NES remake. The original was released in 1996 for the PC-98, while the remake was released in January of last year before the whole coronavirus incident gripped the nation. The NES remake of the second game released last October, and we hope to get another NES remake of the third game out the door by the end of this year. I also got the seventh stage of Juho Jotai 2 done today. The main campaign is almost done, with one more stage left to go. After the extra stage is completed, all I have left are the credits, endings, and achievements. This developer playthrough of the remake is certainly my break before I get started on the final stage tomorrow. I have two weeks to get that stage done. So, without further ado, sit back and enjoy the NES remake of Highly Responsive to Prayers for playing both routes. Before I begin, I do apologize if you get startled by the sound of ice falling. It snowed in Kozankyo yesterday thanks to a cold snap in the jet stream. Also, the snow melted and you may still hear ice as I play. So please excuse me if you see Grey Moo move erratic for a few seconds, or erratic I meant to say, for a few seconds. Snow in April here is awful and last year we had a perfect cherry blossom as the south stole most of our spring that year. A perfect cherry blossom by definition is when winter extends into May. It happens every year in the northern regions of Canada. Let's get started on the Makai route, or either route, as it's known outside of Japan. And as usual, we're playing a lunatic. Alright, World 1. The goal of this game is to flip over all tiles. And avoid getting hit. is so easy you can just defeat him in less than 30 seconds him or her or whatever since that character is probably transgender I guess all right let's move on start all right world two. Oh, good extra life this stage introduces turrets they shoot at you every few seconds and you can't destroy them by the way so, the goal of this game is, as I mentioned earlier, the goal of this game is to flip over all tiles, and once you do, you move on to the next stage. Yeah, something 
that wasn't present in the original of this version is that there's more sound effects for whatever you do. Day 7 complete. Velocity of the yin yang orb whenever you slide into it, but due to a fan complaint, I had to change it. Not so if you get hit by the yin yang orb multiple times, you die. I killed the boss. World 2 complete! Now ready for World 3. life I got from beating that boss.
one to the third box. It's Alice. Just listen how it sounds almost a lot like the original.
died again. Only have one life left.
fact about this song, the Japanese name is where the Toho name came. In fact, that's where Toho got its name.
I messed up like last time. Yeah, it's really easy to confuse the two, since they both have the same team, albeit in a different key, on depending on which mode you're playing. Complete! Hooray! That's good extra life. Not to mention the, um, the same team as World 1. I don't know why they went with that one in the original. I heard in one English past team, it was a place of Civilization of Magic, which continued playing even after I continued. Or, or in this case, used to continue. Yeah, that's what it was in Code 
was on here yesterday. concludes our playthrough of the D-Make. We hope you enjoyed. Stick around for the next stream, whenever I do. I'll see you some other time. Take care.